Hi, I'm Laura and in today's 10 minute video we're going to be looking at improving the posture and helping strength and tone the upper body. So there's going to be a few moves we can do together that's really going to help tone in the tummy, help you sit upright really nice and strong and feel tall all day long. So when you're ready, hop on the mat and I'll meet you there. Okay, so we're just going to start in a nice seated easy pose, just bringing the hands onto the knees, taking a few breaths here, maybe moving around just to make sure that you're really on your sit bones, sitting nice and upright, and we're going to breathe into the belly, because that's really going to help you today. So just a few breaths here, big inhale all the way from the tummy, and exhale everything out, out the mouth now. Two more times just like that, big inhale all the way from the tummy, really squeezing in the core, and exhale. And one more time, breathing in, really squeezing that core, feeling yourself lengthen up. And exhale. Okay. So just try and think about really holding in the waist while we're doing all of these movements as well, and that's going to help strengthen the core. So if you think about wearing a tight belt around the waist and just holding yourself in, that's really just going to keep everything upright and really keep you so you want to be nice and in line. So nice and strong right from the tummy and that's really going to help improve the shoulders as well. So we're going to start with a nice simple side stretch and for this we're just going to put one hand onto the left side and stretching over with the right hand. Big inhale all the way across, exhale moves you into it. So a few times just going each way, if you want to go down to the forearm, stretch around a little bit. Just go where it feels nice and easy, just to start ourselves off. Don't worry too much if you feel like your knees lift up ever so slightly. Just as long as you're getting a nice stretch all the way down the back and the sides. Again, we can look up and look down. Put big inhales and exhales. And we'll just go for one more each side. That feels really nice. Coming all the way up. We're just going to bring the hands onto the shoulders now and do some nice rotations just to open up the shoulders and the front of the chest. So fingers are going to face behind you and a big inhale is going to bring the elbows all the way to the front and exhale is going to roll them all the way down the back. So a big inhale forward and easy exhale back. Just a few more like that. Don't worry too much if you have a bit of movement in the body as you're going back and forth, just keeping that core squeezed in. It's really going to help you. Last one going this way. And when you're back at the front, we're going to inhale and go back this time. And exhale front. That's great. Don't worry if you can hear any little crunches, little clicks. It's all okay. Most people get those little clicks and creaks. And it's just quite good to keep the movement going because you're really going to help with that. Okay. And one more this way. Bring those elbows forward and just release them down onto the knees. And from here we're just going to go into our box pose and go for a few cat cows. So that knees directly under the hips, hands under the shoulders. And we're going to take a nice big inhale, curling everything up. And exhale, stretching it back down. Really think about squeezing that tummy muscle. And also about really lengthening the spine. Bringing the ears away from the shoulders. Looking all the way up. And then as you curl, really releasing the neck. And having a big stretch right on the top of the spine. We'll go for two more just like that. Moving with the inhale and the exhale. Remember if you want a bit of movement in your cat cow, moving the hips around side to side. Just moving to where it feels really good. Um, we're going to release everything now down into our child's pose. So just bringing the bottom down towards the feet, stretching the hands out wide and resting the forehead on your mat. Just rocking side to side. Really feel the stretch across the shoulder blades. If it feels a bit claustrophobic, sometimes people don't like to have their knees right into their chest. Just move the knees out wide into a nice swan pose. 
and move into the space. Three big breaths here. And when you're ready on your inhale, just bring the knees back up and back into our box pose. We're going to just open up the shoulders a little bit more here by bringing the left hand all the way through and stretching all the way back down into our child's pose, but just with a nice twist for the shoulders. Move my hair out of the way. If you want a bit of a variation on this, you can also move the right foot all the way out to the back and just really help strengthen the whole spine, really stretch it all out. Nice big inhale here. And exhale, remember squeezing the tummy muscles still. And on your next inhale, drop the knee, bring everything up, and go onto your opposite side. So just threading that through. And either staying here or bringing out the leg. And then when you're ready with your next inhale, coming all the way back up, releasing that knee. And we're just going to bring ourselves all the way down to our front and do a few little back bends. The back bends are really great for strengthening and lengthening the whole spine, just releasing any stress and tension that might be lying there. So we're just going to bring the hands towards the chest, right next to it. The elbows are going to come nice and tight and in. And on the inhale, we're just going to slowly push away from the ground, but just enough that we can still raise the hands, just using the spine. It's a very small little baby cobra to start with. And exhale, dropping everything down. So if you want to, you can stay at this level, or if you feel like you can have a bit more stretch, make a nice big inhale, come a little bit further up. Looking up, bring the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, everything down. Inhale, brings you all the way up. And exhale, everything down. For this final one, just think about maybe widening the feet, widening your stance. I just want you to inhale, stretch into that, and just see if you can feel that the posture's change. Maybe where you can feel any tension when you release. Lift them all the way up. And exhale, lift them really gently down. We're just going to do one of the little back bends here while we're here. And that's our bow pose. So I just want you to bring the feet up, holding on from the outside of the feet with the hands. Looking down and then a nice big inhale, looking all the way up, stretching out the back, lifting those knees. And exhale, everything down. Two more times just like this. Big inhale brings you up. Really feel the release in the shoulders and the chest. And exhale everything down. And one last time. All the way up. Really stretch. And exhale everything down. Release the feet. And we'll just pop back into our child pose just to release the back. The small of the back in particular. And the shoulders. inhale we're going to come all the way back up and back to our seated nice easy pose we've got two more moves here so I might turn around for these the first one is going to be our cow face arms so if I turn around to show you up to the front feet we'll start with our right hand which is going to come under our left hand is going to come all the way up to the top and if you've got a space in between if that's okay if that feels good for you if you can and the hands can touch just really open the chest, lifting everything up, squeezing the tummy muscles, and stretching everything out. If you want to, maybe just moving the head left to right, just to release the neck, or down, just a little half circle, just so it feels good. And just really having a nice stretch here, so you want to open the neck. Moving on to the other side, come round. So we'll go for the opposite arms. One's going to come to me. And we're just stretching everything out. Really squeezing those tummy muscles still. Think about that belt just cinching you in and holding you upright. Big inhale all the way from the tummy. And exhale. And then we'll just release all of that 
and we've got our final movement um, which is just going to be a really nice shoulder opener and also for the chest. It works right in between the shoulder blades which is sometimes where people can have a bit of problems or it can feel very stiff there like you're having to chip into cement when you want to kind of release the shoulders. So for this we're just going to start with the left hand and it's going to come around the body just so that the fingers come round to the side of the waist. We're then just going to hold hands with ourselves on this side so the elbow is out on the right hand. And a nice inhale is going to bring that elbow in and you should just feel the release right in between the shoulders. So it's a very small, very subtle move, but it really opens up quite a difficult area. So it's a really nice one. A nice one to do at your desk or throughout the day. Holding in that tummy muscles and just sitting really tall. And then you can hold this for as long as you want. And when you're ready, you just bring the elbow back out, release the hands, and we're going to come round to the opposite side. So just interlacing, <laughs> interlacing the hands. I'll turn around for this one. So it's going to come all the way around, interlace those, and then bring that elbow in towards the body. We're really going to feel it in this area just here. Really sitting tall. Looking up and just hold for as long as you like. So I hope you've liked today's video. Don't forget to give it a nice thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!